Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. I'm about to set up a gazelle quick camp. <laughs> the quickest camp you could possibly put up is a quick tent. I have three different gazelle tents here. I have the screen house, I have the T4, and I have the T8. And I'm gonna set all of them up and construct a camp here for my family tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going and Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, put them in the comments while I'm doing this. First thing I'm gonna do is put up my tarp. What's good about putting up your tarp is when you pull your tent back up, you don't have to worry about so much vegetation that's stuck to your tent the base of your tent, but that could help mold your tent if you roll all that up together. Ask me how I know. Okay, so the first tent that I'm gonna set up is the T8, and I'm gonna set it up back there, and I'm gonna bring the T4 up here. I might even have to switch it around, but that's what the plan is for now. Okay, so now I just got to open it up and go inside and pop the top up. I almost bit the dust going in there. So it's two sides you got to set up. That's the first side. Now we're going to pop up that second side in the back. Okay, it's looking good. Now we're just going to roll up the side panels. All right, one last stake ought to do it. Right now we're gonna set up the brand new Gazelle screen tent, courtesy of my cart runneth over. So let's get that going. Now the screen tent had a little learning curve to it, but it was fairly simple. The best thing to do is spread it all out first, stake it down, and then start popping it out. Of course, I did that backwards. But for the most part, once you're done, pop the top up like this, and it's a wrap. So this is what we're looking like so far. Now, I was going to stop there, but it looks so doggone good. Said I've got to set up the T4 to complete Gazelle Moon Base Alpha. So let's go ahead and set up T4. Now setting up the Gazelle T4 is a lot easier than setting up the Gazelle T8 and easier than setting up the screen house. All you do is stake down the four corners and you just start popping. Before you know it, you got shelter. I didn't edit this because I wanted you to see how fast you could set this up in real time. This is the actual time it took me to set this tent up. With gazelle tents, you want to save the best for last. So popping the top is one of the last things you do. Not bad. Now it's time to get to finishing touches. I'm going to add these tarps, the wind panel to go to them. It comes with three. And I'm going to put them all on and then be able to roll them up and just leave them on. What I'm going to do 
these three sides. This pack comes with three panels. Like that, and that blocks the wind and the rain. side first before I do the finish. Now run the gel floor here. Here. Run the flap over Velcro. Beautiful. Now pull my center strap through. my velcro down the side and then put my hook through the loop at the bottom and we are good to go same thing over here velcro side and put our hook through the d-ring on the bottom there you go now that's not bad that i am impressed Just hook them up, give you a little half a shade. Just hook them up just like that. Oh man, look at that. This is why I wanted to go and try it. You gotta see what you're working with. Here we go, you guys. Gazelle pop-up tent base camp. Let's check out the inside of the Gazelle screen house. This is nice. So I've been in situations a billion different times where you will have a screen, you will have a screen tent so you can eat and everything. But either that sun is coming in, blaring, or the wind is blowing straight through the screen and it's just like ruining and everything. So you end up going in a tent or your RV anyway, when you would rather be outside. This solves everything. All I need is two more. I'm going for the two more. All right, you guys. Gazelle Tent Base Camp is set up. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, let's go live and talk about it. If you got any questions, get them ready because we're going live tonight. Guava.